Hello everyone, this is Umair Hassan and this is CSS GSA lecture series lecture number 4 and that is of HCF that is highest common factor and uh, we have some confusion when students are attempting question from LCM or HCF so I will discuss that in my today's lesson as well. What is the concept of HCF that is lecture number 4? You can have my previous lesson in the playlist in my channel so you can visit that HCF the word is HCF that is highest common factor and and in that we have a word factor now I will come to the point of LCM at the end of my lesson uh, to just compare the difference between HCF and LCM so suppose we have two numbers I will talk about the concept of highest common first of all just have an HCF of two number the concept of factor have has already been discussed in my previous classes so let's suppose we need to find the HCF of 3 and 6 find HCF of 3 and 6 ok now first of all write down factors of 3 and that are 1 and 3 the numbers which can divide 3 completely that are the factors of 3 with no remainder act actually so factor of 6 write down the factor of 6 1 2 can also divide 6 to 3 times 6 3 2 times 6 and 6 1 times 6 so now these are the factors of 6 and they are factor of 3 now from these factors from these factors you can have some common factors as well the factors which are part of 3 and uh, the factors of 3 and the part of factor of 6 do we have a factor which is which is a common factor to both 3 and 6 yes we have so this is a common factor of 3 and 6 well this is also the highest one because we have another common factor 1 the 1 is a factor of 3 1 is a factor of 6 the factor is there which is common common factors are these two 1 is common 3 is common which one is the highest common that is 3 the word is highest we will be having factors we will be having some common factors as well of two numbers but the concept is to pick out the common factor which is highest that is 3 this is the concept of HCF factor ok now let us take a real life example real life application of HCF this is what CSS demands from you real life application up till now we have seen questions like this so Mr. Ali writing the question Mr. Ali has two lengths of rope one piece is 72 meter long and the other one is and the other one the other piece is 90 meters long he wants to cut both lengths of rope he wants to cut both 
length of rope in to the word is very important largest pieces of equal length now he wants to cut these two pieces of rope the one is 72 meter the other one is 90 meter in two pieces and he wants that those pieces should be the longest pieces possible and having the same length how long should the pieces be how long should the pieces be what is the maximum possible longest length of piece that is possible from these two lengths of rope you have the concept of lcm lcm will never ask you for largest highest because lcm stands for lowest common multiple now in multiples the concept of multiple you know that the multiples of 3 are 3 6 9 12 15 the multiples of 6 are 6 12 18 24 and they are continued no no can you choose the highest common multiple i don't think so highest common multiple not possible that that is undefined na mean you have number till infinity and there will be common uh, multiples and they will keep on coming and coming how you can choose the highest one out of the multiples of these two numbers you can have a common multiple that is lowest one we can pick out the lowest common multiple but the highest multiple not in sight it is continue the high word highest largest is mostly for hcf we can have highest common factor okay anyways so just if you want to divide these two pieces of rope into lengths the largest possible length and the length of the pieces which we want should be equal mean the piece from here and the piece from here should be equal in length and it should be the maximum one which we can have so that is the word largest is here that is hcf so uh, just uh, write down the factors of uh, 72 anyways i will i will explain it by another way just two prime factorization of 72 to 3 times 6 1 carried 12 okay to 6 times 12 to 18 times 36 to 9 times 18 3 three times 9 3 1 times 3 and what about what about 90 Two forty-five times ninety, three one times three, three five times fifteen, three five times fifteen, five one times five. Prime factors of seventy-two. Write down these factors in index notation. Two two two. That is two power three into three into three. Three square. Ninety factors of ninety in index notation. Two. Into three into three. We have two threes. That is three square into five. Okay, we don't have any five in the factors of seventy-two, so you can write five with power zero. I have explained this in my previous lesson. Now for HCF, we have done the same process for LCM, but the only difference is that you are going to take out the lowest power from each column. Mean from column of two, take out the lowest lowest one that is two power one. 2 power 1 is lesser one as compared to 2 power 3 so for hcf we will take out the low power from this column the less power from this column that is 3 power 2 we have equal power so i don't have any other option and from column of 5 take out the lesser power that is 5 power 0 for hcf you are going to take lesser power from each column for lcm we used to take the highest one so that is 2 Into three raised to the power two is nine. Five raised to the power zero is one. Any number raised to the power zero is one. That is nine into two, eighteen. Eighteen. The HCF is eighteen. HCF is eighteen. HCF of seventy-two and ninety mean the the ropes whose length was seventy-two and ninety. The highest common factor, the highest possible length that is equal. 
that we can cut the largest possible length from here and from here no that is of 18 meter the answer is 18 meter so this is the concept of hcf the highest common factor and for previous lesson you can go to my playlist for queries you can comment thank you so much